book says, oh yeah, I remember that. Interesting. Yes. Anyway. Well, whatever. As a thank you, I'll give you a candle. Read it carefully, as if it were me. I immediately smash it on the ground. <laughs> uh. I'm lighting it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Not all. Oh, Bookworm had the same idea. That's flames for you. Oh, hold on. And then he made it easy. Hey, Festus! Festus playing with a Jolly Rancher rapper. Um, at the end of this stream, I think Bright said that they're gonna end it off at, uh, one for them. Uh, would you be down to, uh, uh, check out and see how well my, uh, streaming works with Skyrim now that I have the graphics card? Or do you think you're gonna be getting too tired or needing to go bed by that time. Sure. I imagine I'd probably only make it for about an hour, hour and a half, something like that. Yeah, like, with the new graphics card, um, without streaming, I'm having Skyrim playing at the highest, uh, like, vanilla graphic settings with basically no performance scripts. I'm pretty excited to play this. Plus, I know exactly what sort of build I want to make this descendant of Hatchet the Orc. Because, uh, if you didn't know this book, Skyrim is the first Elder Scrolls game, to my knowledge, that has dual wielding as an option. So I'm going to make this descendant of Hatchet the Orc wielding two hatchets. He's going to be wielding two battle axes. Because that is the most appropriate thing. And I saw Bright's mouse move, so I think Bright is about that. Fuck, the fuck were you guys talking about? Well, first I got onto Festus because he was playing with a Jolly Rancher. Mm-hmm. 
to watch me stream over. Oh, I'm okay. describing what I would be doing. Okay, I thought you were playing like set my chat on fire or some bullshit. Oh, or some bullshit. Why would that be your Okay, actually no, never mind. That's an entirely reasonable assumption. <laughs> Got a candle. Alright, time that left the bitch away. Book says I have a new sound alert from Tangia that would be the perfect game. Or perfect for this game. Place and lit the candle. Was all this legal? That's normal. Not. What's the sound <laughs> alert first? First? <laughs> Book. It was it was saying like the guy was saying is it it's this legal? No, absolutely not. As soon as this thing appeared, <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect timing. <laughs> Found Ashley in the closet. There you are, you menace. Ta-da! I'm missing the limb you cut. I figured you have it. It's in your stomach, right? And mine. Are you going to cut me up to get it? Oh, uh, Bogor says I think I think it's from the Wolf of Wall Street. I think it's DiCaprio's character who says it. I mean. Yeah, that was I, yeah. I I looked at it, that was a hundred percent Leonardo. Ah. I'd rather not. What are you native for anyway? There's plenty of limbs right behind you. That's true. This one you had to get before he got you. It worries you someone wanted you dead badly enough to hire this guy. Got a severed limb. Oh, I forgot what voice I gave this guy. No, that's not it. Oh yeah, something like this, whatever. Well met, young Greaves. Dost thou reckon that my mortal frame was consumed by the flames? Forsooth, I do not. Methinks the innards of a freezer doth not combust. Perchance it may cook, but to burn? I know it's not. I mean, there's freezer burn. I don't... Well, that's not actually burning. But also, yeah. this is... This is... I don't know if it's just because I'm the one reading it out loud, but this just feels like I'm saying absolutely nothing at all with big words. <laughs> Verily. <laughs> I love that word. <laughs> we we need to use that word word in common parlance more. Verily. Verily. The most foolish dead thou hast ever oh, the most foolish deed not dead. Deed. <laughs> well gee, the bro broke out the verily. Verily, the most foolish deed thou hast ever committed was to leave mine own remains in thine own dwelling. Praise the heavens that some souls thought to protect themselves and kindled a flame which engulfed all. Place all several limbs in the freezer. This reminds you of something. Oh, oh no. no. Oh 
level. Open it, you bitch. Rise and shine, Nina. <laughs> oh, this is the morning after. Mm hmm. Did you have a fun night? I sure hope you learned your lesson. There is no answer. Huh. Guess she's still sleeping. Lele kicks the crate. Wake up, sleepyhead. Come on, go. You open the crate. Lele, that's your reaction? Girl. Oh. Uh, oops. Wait, wait, what? Why is she dead? How did she... What? That, that, that can't be right. What's going on? Whatever. If you're so weak that you died just that... Just like that, then clearly nature doesn't want you to live. Jesus fucking Christ. I... I can fix her. No, you can't. I, I really want to hope I can fix her. Just shut Jesus up. Fucking... Just shut up. <laughs> Forget this. Let's just leave her hair. Since you took the stick off, it looks like she went there on her own anyway. No, it doesn't. Why would she have clawed at the crate until her fingernails split if she was there willingly? Oh, well. Uh, okay, this is okay, actually reminding so... me of the back then with coffins, how some uh, some people were actu actually buried alive. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ashley. I mean, that's a very tempting book, but also Ashley. Uh, my brain. Fuck you. Then again, there's also Ashley's mom. Oh my god. I do like the tired look. Anyway. Uh. The other thing I was going to say is. All this is making me think of. Is one of the most beautiful. Uh. Ending songs. To Attack on Titan. Oh my god. Which is called. Uh. What is it? Uh. Who am I no co? I think it is. Which is literally translated to child of evil. Oh god. It's referencing Aaron in that in, in that song. And now I think it and and that just comes to mind when I think of Lele now. <laughs> That's the shit she's doing as a child is like nine times worse than the shit Aaron did as a child. Like, yeah. It's just Aaron grew up to be significantly more of a monster overall. Mm hmm. Oh, book says, OMG, so I have the stream up on my phone. And when I leave Twitch and rejoin it on my phone, I see the part of the screen when Julia was on screen and. Mm, what? Looks having thoughts about Julia. Oh my god. I want to test that out myself. We really do need a bonk bookworm command. Nope, I just see what we see now. Uh. Quietly thirsty, it's fine. <laughs> bookworm. <laughs> Well, I don't think we have it because Bookworm doesn't, uh, doesn't, you know, go horny a lot. 
I mean, true, but it's it's all in fairness, you know. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Anyway. Discord was cutting me off. Oh, I wasn't noticing anything. Well, I I usually had to sometimes repeat myself. It made it look like I was saying what I was saying. Oh. Yeah. Anyways. It was only because I minimized it before. We also truly just need a bonk everyone for deep. That's true. We need a bonk book and a bonk everyone. Omni bonk. It needs to be called the Omni bonk. Oh my god. Or just bonk. call it bonk again. Those are both really good ideas. You know what? Just make them both. And while oh you're at god. it, uh, make the no cursing redeem. Oh my god. There already is or a no, the cursing. no cursing. There's, I was about to say, I there's mean, already a no cursing redeem. I mean the no pervert redeem. Fuck. <laughs> and no cursing. Oh, I got. I fuck up bookworm as well. <laughs> there is already no cursing redeem. Fuck. Oh, there's four viewers all of a sudden. It only shows up for two for me. Oh, I see four. Anyway. Oh, wow. Uh, it's not like anyone knows she's here. Let's just leave her. No, she'll... It'll start ratting. Oh, Zonju is here. <laughs> Zonju! <laughs> Hi, Zonju. Hi, Zonju. Nothing to see here. We to totally weren't thirsting over a character in this game. And, and someone will come looking and find it. I mean, her family... Uh, what did I just say? A framery <laughs> instead of family? <laughs> her framery was for a looking first. Only a mad, 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 I hate Oh, you. thank you, Bookworm. Has gifted a sub to Zanju. Bitly and Air coming in clutch. Oh yeah, I should probably state this now because I already told Hatchet this. Yeah, I'm gonna because of everything that's been happening lately. Instead of continuing until next week, I'm just gonna stop the uh, horrorathon, horrific non-subathon subathon thing uh, this Thursday. E. And then I'll probably uh, be streaming more uh, during that time, and hopefully. You, you know what? For my birthday, we need to do, like, something that we can both stream simultaneously. We need to do a proper collab. Good. What did you say? I said we could. Oh, okay, we could. It sounded like you said, Mmm, good. Mmm, <laughs> good. <laughs> good. Good. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> back, back to the incest cannibalism game. Screw it. <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> now. Now Maria Carey has been released fully from containment. Oh. I don't know who the fuck they are. Who the yeah, fuck? Yeah, I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, is that the person who sang that fucking Christmas song that gets stuck in everyone's head? It says, oh, yup, yeah. yup, 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 I was right. <laughs> don't you, don't you have turkey day before that? Let's see, my birthday. Oh, wait, no, before Christmas. Yes, turkey day is before Christmas, but there's already Christmas stuff out. Yeah, I've seen Christmas stuff out in August. Yeah, like, my mom was seeing Christmas stuff out earlier this month, like, earlier in October. Yeah. You anyway. expect when we exist in a fucking system that's based solely on profit, and the holidays are the most profitable time, so they hyper-focus on it to the point that it just becomes all-consuming. 
Yeah, anyways. Eventually, fucking July, they'll start putting out Christmas stuff. I mean, Hallmark Channel plays Christmas movies year-round. I think occasionally. Though they really start, like, basically doing nothing but Christmas starting around August. Yeah. I know this because my mom records almost all of them. <laughs> my, my mom <laughs> records almost every single rom-com from Christmas time from Hallmark. Tries to do other rom-coms. Well, I mean, they do a lot, but... They definitely do air an occasional Christmas thing year-round. Yeah. But my mom records all, every single one of them, basically. Mm-hmm. To either rewatch or watch, and then, like, she's watching Christmas Hallmark movies until, like, fucking July, and then <laughs> she just waits a couple months and they start airing them again. Oh, my God. It's one of the most subtly uh unhinged things my mom does but it's also <laughs> really cute and i love her <laughs> anyways i mean her family was already looking for her it's only a matter of time before they come check here so what do we do that um i <laughs> fuck Let's just hide it then. What? Huh? Are they not even gonna try and resuscitate? Oh wait, they're children. <laughs> they're children, and she's probably been dead for hours, right? <laughs> if no one knows, then it's not a problem. It's only a crime if you get caught. Who you know, do I sound like? You know some bodies don't get found because they put a, a few feet above the body, they put an animal. So when a cop digs up the animal's corpse, they think the dog's just swimming the corpse of the animal. Let's not give tutorials <laughs> about how to hide bodies. <laughs> Although, yeah, that's an incredibly smart way to go about that. <laughs> yeah. They're gonna that's know, one thing lady. I surprisingly oh. That's one thing I surprisingly haven't heard in mm -hmm. like my my long chunk of like being obsessed with true crime. Yeah. Even though it's really smart. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the Well you see, that's the thing. Genuinely smart things mm -hmm. that are done to hide crimes are also the ones that we're least likely to talk about. Yeah. Because they don't happen often. Yeah. Most cr like, like I think there's like at like the most generous estimates is that like twenty percent of homicides actually lead to a conviction. Mm -hmm. It's like insanely easy to get away with this shit if you're that kind of person and you want to. This is not a this. I we do not condone committing acts of grievous homicide. Yeah. But the police are kind of fucking stupid. Mm hmm. Like, if you know what you're doing, it's really easy to do. Yeah. Anyways. I'll find yeah, a body. The, oh, sorry. Book says, yeah, because the people in true crime, crime are dummies. They just get lucky. They just need to watch an episode of Detective Conan. <laughs> Boom. Unstoppable pride. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I always say? Model everything you do in life off of various anime. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. They'll find the body and they'll know. And then they'll throw me in prison for the rest of my life. Me too. It's fine if it's the fault of it. You're not going to be together, girl. Yeah. You're going to be in different wings. Or hell, in some states, they're at two different places. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
No. No, you fucking idiot. You don't get it, do you? Guys and girls don't go to the same prison. They're gonna <laughs> take you away from me. How was I supposed Oh my god. It's so fucking stupid. Yep. How was I supposed to... Just didn't know that. I guess the question is, would they be tried as adults? Like, how old are they right now? Like, 10, 12, around, like, hmm. They probably wouldn't. Well, I know Andy wouldn't. Because they have guilt. But it, like, if, since Lele doesn't show any guilt, they probably would. Well, it really depends on where they're getting convicted at. Yeah, that's what I've so, seen mainly in courts. Like, if they show guilt, they're not really trial as an adult. Yeah. But I mean, uh, with a case like this, like the the most obvious response, mm -hmm. uh, if this was a just world, is um actually having a functional mental health institution yeah. to help these kids not be murderous little shits. And not be sent to a reunification camp. Back to the incest game. <laughs> Away from legalizing solutions surrounding incredibly complex abuse situations. Oh my God, God, my head hurts. <laughs> Anyways... <laughs> or, anyway, you figure something out then, since you're so smart. Okay, okay. Let's just, uh, like, move us somewhere. Yes, a grave. Let's dig up a grave for her. Alright, where? Anywhere in the forest should be fine. I mean, there's a park right outside. Yeah, yeah, that is probably fine. But first, we need to wrap her up in something. Because no one can see us carry her there. Oh, this will work. This one's too big and heavy. And apparently not. This will have to do. That's one else. That's a story for pop culture. Pleased to meet you all. Oh, nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you. Welcome, welcome. Yeah. Got tired. I misread that for a second. <laughs> what did you think I said? Or what it said? Uh, <laughs> what did you think it said? I thought it said tart. Oh. That's not what I thought you were going to say. What would you think I was going to say, huh? Like carp? Like the fish? <laughs> I'm not that obsessed with fish. <laughs> ignore, my, ignore my fucking... Uh, ignore my fucking Twitch layout and page. Don't look at that. No. <laughs> Anyways... Oh. Also, your birthday's tomorrow. Oh, oh, happy uh, birthday. Yeah, happy birthday. Anyways. You wrap Nina's corpse inside the tarp and carry her away. Okay, that needs to be clipped. Huh. Happy birthday. You wrap the corpse <laughs> in the tarp. <laughs> I couldn't find a shovel, but I figured these wooden planks would work. <laughs> that would just make it really a lot harder to dig. <laughs> Children don't know how to dig. <laughs> okay. I mean, they're kind of shovel -y. Just watch for Splinter. 
when there's an elite of my worries right now. Let's pick a good, easy, big spot. Got a wooden plank. Maybe here. There doesn't seem to be any roots in the way. Oh, that was fast. Yeah. I'm tired. That's not very deep. Yeah, that's a pretty shallow grave. Yeah, this is way harder than I thought it would be. The average untrained chihuahua would probably find this grave. Yeah. Isn't this Debanov already? This <laughs> game is morbid as hell. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it is. <laughs> You know, we got cyclically abusive, incestuous relationships. We got cannibalism. We got child murderers. We got yeah. Demons, and I think the demons are the least dark part about it all. It's more. <laughs> <laughs> I yes. guess. These any wild animals will probably find it too. Yeah. A grave should be six feet, right? Get it. She fits here just fine. I. Okay, fine. Besides, how the fuck are you two tiny little shits gonna dig six feet down? <laughs> yeah. You and Lele push the grave into its grave. Oh, push the grave into its grave? <laughs> <laughs> Into its grave. It's so much better if you also <laughs> mixed up grave with body. Yeah. Put the grave into its body. Oh my god. What right? You're funny. Thank you. <laughs> anyway. 90. Uh, like, fair warning. 90% uh, of her intentional humor is just saying the word penis. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> she's genuinely funny, uh, just because she's dumb a lot of the times. Fuck you. <laughs> but we love her. But we love her. Yeah, anyway. You and Lele. You and Lele push the body into its grave. Oh my gosh, this is sh <laughs> That is so noticeable. <laughs> This doesn't look natural at all. No shit! <laughs> Crap, this doesn't look natural at all. I guess... I, should we try to explain to the child murderers <laughs> that attempting to hide the body would increase a prison sentence? Probably. Oh. I don't think they'll understand, though. <laughs> Yeah. This is gonna be bad. Yep. Yeah. Uh, let's find a man. No. There can't be this. This obviously a, this is this obvious of a spot. It needs to be hidden too. Wanna hide it with some leaves and such? Oh my god. God damn it, Buster. This is Buster stream now. <laughs> He took both blankets off the bed and curled up into a ball. Nah. <laughs> you little shit. Oh yeah, Rika, uh... She is enjoying this. Yes, Lele is... Lele is Lele. Yeah. For reference, Rika, uh... Busta is Bright's, uh... Service dog. Very lovable pit bull. Also, don't tell Bright, but Busta is a secret agent for the rest of the server to keep an eye on her. I can hear you. No, you can't. What? What are you talking about? I understand that. Yeah. Oh my god, that looks even... Worse. 
How did you manage to make it look more conspicuous? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, okay, to be fair, these are stupid children. Maybe. I wonder if Dr. Bright does SCP fights. Maybe. <laughs> that's actually an interesting idea. That's what that's what testing is. I don't think that's how testing normally works. Well, with six day two, it is. Wow. <laughs> you can't okay. tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Let me think. But have they tried? Have they tried showing six eight two? Uh, 096's face. Yes. 096 is terrified of 682 now. Damn. 682 is left with just a head after the ordeal. Damn. I mean, at least he kind of fucked them up. And I love the SCP fights. Yeah. But I think also 096 took a lot of damage too. I mean, I would imagine. Quite literally, unstoppable force meets immovable object. Yeah. They're both gonna come out of it worse for wears. Yeah. How about Abel versus the Japanese slash? I don't know. Anyways. How about Abel versus Godzilla? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, Hatchet. Oh, yeah. Yes, uh, this looks so much better, huh? Also, this is all getting blown away by the next breathe. There's gotta be something to hold them in place. Oh my gosh, are we gonna put the rocks on top of them? That's gonna make it worse. God stone, oh my Wait, god. <laughs> They're kid. They, it's not a plot hole that they're so fucking stupid. They're children. Move on, brain. <laughs> it's just this is so awful. I love this game's humor because it's the sort of thing that makes me feel bad about the fact that I'm laughing at it. Yeah. That's my kind of humor. Anyways. When it's done right. Yeah. Anyways. Specifically. Go ahead. <laughs> it's totally not a burial place, officer. Look away, please. It's more than humor. Yeah. yeah. Nice. It makes me want to write her name on. <laughs> like, like. Out of the quest. I wasn't going to do it. I was just saying. She would probably just write bitch. Probably. Hell <laughs> lies bitch. She took my brother's attention away from me. Oh my god. No wait, it's not even she took his attention away from her. It's she threatened to take his away attention away from her. Mm -hmm. He was not at all interested in her. Or at least not significantly. Yeah. What is it now? He's hidden. Oh, I just noticed Pokemon sent me... <laughs> sent me the happy birthday clip. Wow, oh, wonderful. Book says, here lies the bitch who tried to take my brother away from me. What if they find it? What if police dog digs her up? Hey, so... You know, we're really playing up on the fact that we're talking to a couple of stupid murdering children. Mm -hmm. But, uh, did you know that the longer you spend next to the body, the more likely you're going to be found with the body? <laughs> Literally, this all could have been avoided if the the dumb children had just, uh, like, 
attempted to say something like, Hey, we found this body. No idea how that happened. We were looking for her. Ooh. Mm -hmm. All of that would be marginally smarter than this. Yeah. In fact, that's basically exactly what the only, like, actual child murderer that comes to mind did. Well, actually, there's two. There's two I know of. But, like, one that comes to mind basically did exactly that. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Bulkram said it all could have been avoided if the kids attempted to eat the body. Boom, no evidence of the body now. I wonder what if Abel versus Rick Taylor and the Terror Mask versus the house. Oh my god. Oh. But anyway. But then, forget it. I can't. Of course you can. You just have to be like me and not develop object permanent. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, they're both killers. Uh, did you know that if you don't think about something for a really long time, it's like it never happened. Yep. For you, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> because you can't remember it anymore. Let's forget all about it. Lily, I, I need to know you won't say anything. To anyone. Promise me this stays between us. I just said we'll forget all about it. You said one thing and do another. Promise me that this time you, you'll honest to God keep your mouth shut. I promise. I won't say anything, so I'll never even say her name again. What was it anyway? I don't remember anymore. True book. Yeah, true. Can't or won't, I don't know. That's fair. Bad barrel. It'll be fine. Just kidding. I'm gonna tell on you. Oh, jeez. Ah. Uh. If you won't do what I say, I'll tell everyone all about what you did. It was technically more of her fault. Well, let's put it this way. If, if you carry out a hit on someone, both the person who ordered the hit and the hitman are going to get put under. Yeah. Or arrested. It was gonna play with you if I'm in jail. I'll send you letters. I can't read your crappy handwriting. Guess you'll just have to do what I say then. Otherwise, you'll be all alone in prison. I am your best friend from now on. Time to prisoner's dilemma this bitch. Yeah. I don't think I know what that is. True. Yeah, you already were, Lele. Don't lie to me. 
I'm mad at. Thanks. Whatever. It's you and me now. No one else will pick <laughs> you. Yeah. Jesus. Because you're bad. You're a bad person, Andy. But I won't tell anyone. I meant that if she tells on Andrew, then she should tell on Then he should tell on her lol. Oh, okay. Ah. Uh, of course not. You'll be in trouble, too. Oh, give me a sec. No. <laughs> so what? No one likes me anyway. But that's fine because y'all be around now. Oh my god. Yeah, it is. You stupid, stupid girl. I've been here this whole time. None of this needed to happen. You could have just. I know you don't like me. Andy, I know. But that doesn't matter anymore. Because you, from now on, no one will like you either. So let's always be friends, okay? Be my friend, or... I mean, what's stopping me from killing Lele right now? Uh, basic causality. She's alive in, in, in the future, so she doesn't die now. Unless I brought her alive with the... Necronomicon. <laughs> that's not what the necro. I'm pretty certain that's not what the Necronomicon is used for. <laughs> if I remember correctly, the Necronomicon is a is a book to help summon the old gods in Lovecraftian lore. Yeah, one of the old gods will s bring a resurrector. <laughs> no, if you summon. The entire idea behind the old gods, in, uh, at the very least, the majority of what I understand mm -hmm. in Lovecraftian lore, is that they are quite literally sleeping, and them waking up will cause the, the end of all of our reality. Oh. You're not going to get an old god to resurrect someone for you. If if you wake one of them up, we're gone, dead, poof. Uh, well, I'll just wake them up in another reality. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Go right ahead. <laughs> this is. I need to stop trying to rationalize your bullshit. <laughs> Be my friend, or else. <sighs> I'll be whatever you want me to be. You should not have said that. You, could, you should have just said friend. That, oh, that look on her face. I love her, but oh my god, Lele. <laughs> Lele? And from now on, let's always be together! You had a million things you wanted to say to this creature, none of which were pleasant. But absolutely nothing came out of your mouth. Several days went by without a hitch. How? How? What? How the fuck has several days gone by without a hitch, quote-unquote? Do we... Okay, no. It's entirely understandable for the fucking police to be completely fucking incompetent. That's the most normal thing about this entire situation. 
Can I eat your ice cream? Yeah, for it. Huh? Really? I can't seem to eat anything lately. Nom? Nom? <laughs> Why do they have to put this jam thing in strawberry ice cream? It's gross. I wish there was no jam. <laughs> oh, I'm just looking at it right now because I want to see how far we were. We're right near the end. Oh, we are? Yeah. Oh. You wish you had the capacity to care. Book says OMG, so I looked up Necronomicon and I found a PDF on, on the Internet Archive. Send it my way, Bookworm. I need it. No, Bookworm. You just use it for yourself. Don't send it to Bright. I thought there would be more to the story already. Yeah, well, it's almost right at the end. I didn't see any, what happened. I was just seeing where we were. But it oh, showed yeah, us right happened. near the end. <laughs> I mean, I guess I think you said that it was going to be coming out in chapters, right? Yeah. But, uh. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead. Has anyone asked you anything about things? Makes sense. So it's book. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. My teacher asked everyone in class. Some officers came by too. The only thing I do hope is that they don't do a poppy playtime. If you're wondering what I mean by that, you have to pay for each chapter for Poppy Playtime. Even, and oh, buy yeah. the play, base game. No. I, I hope they don't do that. Book says, also, I forget, how do we get into this series of flashbacks? Uh, Andy went to bed. This is him remembering all this in his dreams. Yeah. And did you say anything? Nope, I only asked Julia if she was expecting to see anyone the other day. Oh, no. <laughs> Why? And no, because a certain someone told her mom she went to study with Julia. Uh-oh. So I thought maybe she told Julia she was gonna come see you instead. Well, did she? I don't know, because I didn't want to just come out and ask. But Julia said she was visiting family that day, so I doubt she had any idea. Your promises mean fucking nothing. Huh? Why are you being so cold to me? You're the worst. You're worse than you were before, jackass. These are Please. children oh. saying these cuss words. Yeah. <laughs> That's the most normal thing about this situation. Right? Yeah. It's not even worth mention. I gave you my ice cream, yet yeah, I'm a jackass. Uh... Wait, I see how it is. You're still pining for that bitch. Here we fucking go again. She's dead. Now you're still all about her, aren't you? It is never good enough. 
What a snake. I bet she... <laughs> Ashley. Girl. No, she died one of the worst ways possible. I bet she died on purpose. I bet she died on purpose when we locked her in a chest and she suffocated because of our asthma. True, but Don't you? <laughs> their parents don't care enough to be one of those parents who don't want their kids to curse at all. Yeah. I mean, true. <gasps> Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> This is the most rational thing Andy's done in this entire in this entire string of thoughts. I was thinking of something else involving a well, knife the... and their arm. Why would that be your first assumption? I don't know. <laughs> Booker guess what I was gonna say, yeah. Dumbass. I need a nap. Huh? Where are you going? Fuck you. <laughs> oh, wait. Is... Oh, wait. Is it actually going to go to that? You pick up a knife from the sink and give it a quick wash. Got a kitchen knife. Hey, the suffering ends. What are you doing with that knife? Briefly, you wonder if killing her would be worth it. I am going to make a blood oath with you. But in return, you'll have to promise me something too. Okay? Keep my secret and I'll keep you company. And what if I don't? Yes. Haha, <laughs> you're all bark, and you wouldn't do anything. If you ruin my life anyway, what reason is there for me to keep up appearances? Move up over. Oh, wait, sorry. Moreover. Move over. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Moreover, I'm doing this for you. Then what happens if you break up? Mama's. I won't if you won't. I'm not buying that. Lele, you are a miserable, loathsome being that was that has formed its way into every aspect of of my life. And for that, my heart will always have a rotten, moldy, sore spot just for you. Make of that what you will. I mean, I'll take it, but shish. Ah, gently, you asshole. That is one cunt. <laughs> <laughs> My mind instinctively said that instead of cunt. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? I, I, I guess Hatchet, you didn't hear it clearly. I said, how does one cunt? <laughs> Instead of cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dipshit. I'm like kind of sweet in a moldy way. <laughs> <laughs> what would we do without you, book? Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> the look on his face. <laughs> <laughs> I love this art style so much. Yeah, anyways. And this one cut something gently. Someone. <laughs> A better man would know. Whatever. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And thus, she forever keeps her mouth shut. I... Yeah, the artist did a great job. It really is a wonderful art style. 
<laughs> what? This is an entirely normal sibling behavior. Nothing to see here. Just smearing blood on each other's faces. This is normal. Totally won't spread infections. <laughs> 